There are three speed testing websites that I regularly use as a professional network administrator. Those are speedtest.net, Xfinity Speed Test, and fast.com. Let's start by taking a look at speedtest.net, far and away the most popular speed testing website on the internet. The results you get from speedtest.net are what I would consider a best case scenario. The website automatically chooses a server that's close to your location. Because of this, your latency will generally show as being lower than on other speed testing websites. Once again, this does not mean that the test is more or less accurate than any of the other tests. I would recommend using speedtest.net when your primary goal is to evaluate whether you are getting the internet speeds you are subscribed to. As you can see in this test, we got 937 megabits per second of download speed and 54 megabits per second of upload speed. Given that my internet subscription is for 940 by 50, we can see that our test results are well within that range. The results you get with this test should be within 20% of the package you are subscribed to. Please remember that if your subscription is for 300 megabits per second or greater, this test is really only accurate using a wired connection. Now let's take a look at the Xfinity speed test. The Xfinity speed test is similar to speedtest.net, but tends to often give a slightly lower result. The reason for this has to do with the way the test is performed, specifically the size of the data packets used and the server locations. Even though this is a Comcast speed test, I would recommend using this test even if you do not have Comcast internet service. The test does a good job of simulating real world conditions. Please remember that your results may be slightly lower than with speedtest.net. That doesn't make it any more or less accurate. As you can see in my case, I got 943 megabits per second, which is actually slightly higher than I got with speedtest.net. Both of these test results are within an acceptable margin of error. Now let's take a look at fast.com. Fast.com is a speed testing service hosted by Netflix. It is specifically designed to test your internet connection speed to their servers. This speed test is not particularly the best for measuring your overall internet performance. This is particularly useful if you're having issues with Netflix streams buffering. Please note that even a 4K Netflix stream only requires 25 megabits per second. If your test results are significantly higher than this, you have more than enough bandwidth for streaming Netflix. As you can see, I got 280 megabits per second in this test. This is more than 10 times the bandwidth required to stream even a 4K Netflix stream. A final note on internet speed testing websites. None of them do a particularly great job at simulating real world conditions. If you want to learn a more accurate way of measuring your download speeds, click on the featured video shown now. If you got value out of this video, please consider dropping a like. Comment below, what is your preferred speed testing website?